So I'm now logged in as Beth, who is an agent working in the CSM workspace. Beth is working on this high priority incident, but realizes that she needs more information from the requester, as well as additional help from her teammates in order to resolve the issue. So she first uh, decides to reach out to the requester. So she clicks on the discuss button to start a discussion with the requester. So notice that because Beth can now create multiple discussions on this incident, we are now displaying the record number at the very top to indicate the record against which the discussion is being created. So let's search for the requester. And say, So that discussion is now underway. So while she's working, waiting for the requester to respond, she decides to create another discussion with her teammates who might have more information about this issue. So she clicks on the discuss button again. Note that now the number two is now prefixed to the subject of the discussion. This is to indicate that this is a second discussion on the record. This can of course be overridden if Beth wants and replaced with a totally different title. For now, let's leave it alone. And let's add Beth's fellow agents, Fred, and also David. And let's say, so Beth now realizes that this is a high priority incident. So she also wants to keep her supervisor appraised of her progress. So while she's still on the same incident, Beth clicks on discuss once more. Notice that the prefix now has changed to three to indicate that this is a third discussion on this record. This time Beth does change the title. So let's change this to supervisor updates. So the reason you would want to do this is that creating a custom title helps serve as a quick mental reminder on what the discussion is about and also who is part of that discussion. So think of when you have multiple chat windows open. So if you have a custom title, that triggers your memory on what the discussion is about. So let's now add Beth's supervisor and say, and let's create the discussion. So Beth now moves on to a different discussion so she wants to review you know, this for any new activity that's happened when she's not uh, been working on this. So let's go to the sidebar discussion menu. So notice that you know, there's now this new tab called this record. So let's click on that. And the purpose of the, this record tab is to filter all activity so that it only pertains to the record that's open in the background. In this case, it's this incident that Beth was working on earlier. Also notice that mentions and favorites are now accessible from the more menu. And there is also a new filter that you can see uh, that's under this record tab. So clicking on my discussions will filter, you know, as it is now, will filter only activity on discussions that Beth is part of. So if you click on other discussions, that is gonna filter activity on discussions that Beth is not part of. So these are all the discussions that Beth is not involved in at this time. Similarly, if you click on all discussions, like the name suggests, it's going to combine activity across all the discussions on the record. So there is also now a new button for new discussion. So this allows Beth to create a new discussion from the tab itself, like you can see. So that's another way to create a discussion, uh, you know, apart from the discuss button. So now also notice that if Beth navigates away from any of these record pages, let's say let's say she goes to the list view and let's now go back to the sidebar discussion menu so that this record tab does not show any discussions. So it will just say that there's no record selected. Please navigate to the record, to a record to see any you know associated discussions.